I'm here to see Karen Greer. Thank you. Hey, Missy. How are How you doing? Good. Not as skinny as you. <laughs> you look great. No, I'm not that skinny. All right, lady. Thank you. I was excited to get your call. You know, when we first met, mm -hmm. we did a story together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, my boss mentioned she thought yeah. you should do something. I want to do the whole interviewing thing. I have the gift of gab. You so. could maybe just do some, you know, reports mm -hmm. or something. It'll be up to my boss to mm -hmm. decide what you can do. Hello. Hi. Nice this is to meet Ben you. Nice to meet you. He's the manager nice of content. What we want to learn from you today is, what would you want to do? Well, I really, really would love to do entertainment. Interviewing celebrities or do some type of talk, host panel, interview them in their home, maybe at their workplace. So you've been doing celebrity and entertainment things. Tell us what you did. Well, uh, Ryan Seacrest called me and asked me to do the red carpet at the Emmys. After that, the insider called. I think you just need to prove yourself. Mm -hmm. If you can do that and mm -hmm. not come in with airs and, mm -hmm. you know. Never. Thinking. I'm not even a diva. Where's, where's this and where's that? Oh, my God. Who does that? So I will give everything and every piece of me to make it a great story. We do the news and information, but we have this other part of it where we love to have fun and do different things. Mm -hmm. And we'd love to have Nini style stuff on it. I'm hoping that we, this is a long, great, fun run for all of us. That would be great for I us. Hope, I hope We're so. excited. We're I'm excited. excited too. Thank what you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you know, thank you, Karen. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, gosh. Welcome aboard. We're glad to Thank have you. you. I'm excited to see you. I can't wait to see what you're uh, going to put on the air for us. The big question is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I get an office? We do have a cubicle for you. Oh! I'll start in the cubicle, then maybe I can... I want to see your office. I bet you slap it. Yeah, one of us does have an office. I don't work. You know, I, I never really work, so I, <laughs> I don't really know about meetings. I want to bring entertainment to you guys and use some of my connections. All right, so let's brainstorm. We'll go list of people that we'd like to interview. Mm -hmm. I have Ludacris. Outcast. Outcast. Yeah. Steve Harvey. How about Jermaine Dupree? I think he'll be a great interview. And he's awesome. What about Monique? Yeah, Monique is great. That's what we want to give our viewers, a taste of Nini's life. Start making calls and start setting things up. We want to have the first ones hit in about two weeks. I think we've got a great plan. Good, how are you? <laughs> Hello. Oh. How are you doing? Cool, so what's been going you on? Been? I'm good. Okay. So today you and I are just gonna make some more phone calls, follow mm -hmm. up on those phone calls, and that's where we are. Cool. Okay, so where do I sit at? This is your desk. Right here. I know it's oh, not it? what you were thinking. It's oh, it's not. fine. Over here? This is the newsroom. So, you know, fine. if you look around, everyone's kind of wide open, doing their own thing. So we're going to make you part of this. Let me go over here and check it out and see if it's got Nene over here. Oh, I have to have somebody to come in here and decorate and bedazzle this sucker. <laughs> Let me see what's going on with this computer. Are you able I'm to... looking for the mouse on here. Are you tech support? <laughs> oh, honey, I will be calling you a lot of days. Hi, what? I'm Nene. Hey, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. What, what do you need here? I just, I don't see the mouse oh. here. I'm just, you can use oh, this. Oh, is this? Oh, okay, just. If you, you have to touch that. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now you're good, so. Okay. Thank you so you much. Guys. You're so special. <laughs> I'm trying to get my new computer set up, and all of a sudden, bam. My face pop up on the screen. Greg is like airing out our dirty laundry for the whole world to hear. How <laughs> are you? How are you doing this morning, Doc? We'll hug you. Mm. Are you ready? I am. I am ready. I, I just, I was just, um, I know this has nothing to do with whatever, but I just <laughs> pulled up online my own <laughs> It's my first day at work, and I kind of have no other choice but to kind of put on a happy face, laugh it off, and try and get through the day. But really, on the inside, I just want to break down and cry. Ah, oh, they love to talk about me. My coworkers are very new to me, and for them to hear something that even some of my closest friends didn't even know, it's just quite embarrassing. And if you want to be in this business, these kind of things can totally ruin your career. These are grounds to be fired. Really? With why your get, business why out Why would like you this. get fired? Because I didn't put it out there. Your contracts read anything that Put could you in a bad put light. Put you in a bad light. Those are things that are fireable you offenses. You, you just have to stay 
ahead of it. Ahead of you it. have to be the one that puts out what you want out. You have to stay ahead of it. Mm -hmm. Whatever's going on at home, you guys talk about it, be on the same page. Greg has said and done things that I had no knowledge of. Really? Sometimes I feel like I have slept with the enemy. Hello, you guys. Hey, Hello. Ellen, how are you, darling? You're fabulous. Thank you. So what's going on, you guys? Today, we're showing you which stories we're doing, mm -hmm. and then we'll shoot um, intros and tags to each one. Oh, yeah. My <laughs> God. <laughs> Hi, Mimi. We're not going to change your total look, but we'd love to give you a little bit of a different hair. Would you let me do it? Yes, I'll do it. And great interviewing is about listening. I'm Nine learning pieces. to be more of a listener. That is the hardest part. So we're going to do audio. Yep, we're going to go in audio and track something. Hey, y'all, it's NeNe Leaks with Keeping It Real. Today, we keep it real wrong. Just relax. It's just you being you. Hey, y'all, it's NeNe Leaks with Keeping It Real. Hey, it's NeNe with Keeping It Real. There you go. That was Thanks. the best. Let's do the quick tag. I'm NeNe Leaks for 11 Alive. Bam! That's good. Tony Braxton, Jay-Z, Janet Jackson, Beyonce, Bow Wow. <sighs> How am I supposed to do this? Jay-Z. Jay-Z? Kaiser, how are you? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of a hurry. Really quick, Okay, I'm doing it really fast. Um, I have my new show with 11 Alive Local here, and I need to get a really big interview. Okay, okay, I know this is crazy. Listen, Jay-Z. Jay-Z is in Europe right now, honey. He's touring in Europe right now. Okay, what about Tony Braxton? Yeah, I think she's in Los Angeles right now. Okay, bye-bye. Serena, hey! Hey, this isn't Serena. This is her, one of her assistants. Oh, okay, is she available? I'm... No, she just stepped away. Your name came up, it's Nene? Yeah, it's Nene Leakes. I'll tell her to call you. Thank you so much, take care. I know some celebrities and I've talked to a few of them and we have numbers, but calling people to ask them to do things like this, it's a little bit like begging. I don't like to beg, honey. Like, I don't even like to ask. Hey, Booba. Hey, Jack. What you doing? <sighs> Mom gotta work these days. Independent woman. <sighs> We're looking for some really big Atlanta star power. I need some help. What you got? Can you help me out? Ludacris, I think he... You know his number? Mm, no. Oh, if you don't know their phone numbers, it's not gonna help me. I need Justin Bieber. Do you guys Bieber? What's his name, Bieber? Justin Bieber. You know him? Mm, As a singer. Not really. Does he live in this neighborhood? There's a rumor out that so. he does. Do you know somebody that know him? Usher. Yeah, Usher. You know Usher? No, not at all. Oh, I was gonna have you call him right now. <laughs> you really think that we know like multi-millionaire phone number people? I mean, you're not gonna be able to like have a pair of shoes if I don't get this interview done. All right, you guys. Thanks for checking on me. Bye-bye. Let's go. Jack, I think your hair's gotten longer. My dad always complains about getting a haircut, but I say, no way. <laughs> Wait, Same here. Out. My mom won't let me grow an afro. Hello? Hey, Saptosa. It's Nene. How you doing? I'm calling you because, oh my gosh, I really need a really big favor. Ugh, my earring just fell off. That's how stressed I am. I really need to get this interview. My boss is on my ass. Let me check with him. When are you trying to do the interview? Like, as soon as possible. Like, when is he available? Like, any time that he's available, I will just try and work around his schedule and do whatever I gotta do. Okay, I will check his schedule. I will be in touch. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. Take care, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Hello? Hi, come and speak to Nene. This is she. Hi, Nene, this is Saptosa, your main publicist. Oh, hey, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm good. So Jermaine is available for your interview tomorrow at 1.30, and we are really looking forward to it. We're excited about it, so happy to, to be doing this. Oh my God, I am so happy. You have really made my day. I really gotta, I gotta call my people over at the news station and let them know I'm just too excited. Thank you so much. Take care, bye-bye. Bye. I brought Brent along with me for the interview because it means a lot for my boys to see I can be an independent woman. Thank you.
Jermaine. Hi. Good. Hi. How are you? He's mad short. Sure. Like, he is a little mushkin. Yeah. This is my son, Brent. What's up, Mom? This is Jermaine. Hi. I understand that you want to talk to him about his legacy in, his mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Jermaine. <laughs> Let's see. Show me what you got. Show me your studio. It's a beautiful place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So come on over, Jermaine. Don't be scared, honey. <laughs> well, you know, I'm really excited to interview you today. Okay. Well, you started out years and years ago as a concert promoter? No. Mm -hmm. You have a radio show? No. Can I get a full sentence, please? Jermaine is not making this whole listening thing easy. Did you get an instrument when you were young? Nah. I didn't do a whole lot of research, but maybe I should have. I feel like I'm sinking right now. Is it easier to get an artist in the music game when they're young, or can they wait till they get Kim's age? She's like 30 something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. Oh my God. All right, uh, I personally don't think age has anything to do with it. Have you heard the song Tardy for the Party? I think I did. What do you think about it? It was all right. She sound real good? I don't remember about that part. It is, that's good that yeah. you even saw it. How about that? I'm dying to see your beautiful place here. All right. Let's check it out. In here, basically, it's like my release, my mind room. Do I see a pole? Go, go on, get up there. I can show y'all what I'm working with. <laughs> I have a game room. We'll take you in this room in here. Oh, my God, you know, Jermaine, so, this so is tomorrow. so cool. The boom, the boom box. We used to have that back in the day. This is more of my style. I'm enjoying him. He's enjoying me. I'm hanging out with one of the biggest producers in Atlanta. Oh, this is amazing. I am a good basketball player. Don't make me have to take my shoes off and show you a thing or two. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jermaine, you guys are supposed to be here making music, so you play basketball? And sometimes you got to get your mind off of, of, of what you're doing. This is, this is kind of the area. That's really, really nice. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Too bad I have on a dress. <laughs> Once Jermaine realized that I was cool, the interview got really popping. Oh, okay. Yes! But this was a whole lot tougher than I actually thought. Jermaine, thank you. Yes, yes, Thank yes. you so much. Yes, all right. Nene Link is bringing us some fun to our studio. You won't want to miss Nene. <laughs> Sit down with a big time music star. That's coming up. Kim, look what I found. Nene on 11 Live News. Uh -oh. Good morning, Nene Leaks. Good morning, you guys. How great are you this morning? You great, great to have you here. Yes, well, Karen, I've been having a ball. <laughs> For the next two weeks, I'm going to bring you guys entertainment reports. This morning, we have one of the biggest names in the music industry. You guys may know him as Janet Jackson's ex, <laughs> Mr. Jermaine oh, yeah. Dupree. Oh, yeah. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> You've discovered a lot of new young talent. They all had this little thing about them that shimmers that shows me like, oh, this person got some. Is it easier to get um, an artist in the music game when they're young, or it's better when they're younger, or can they wait till they get Kim's age? She's singing a song, Tardy for the Party. She's like 30 something. <laughs> you bring up my name? Like, why are you discussing me to Jermaine? Kim's 32 trying to be a pop star. Bye, Jermaine. <laughs> New girlfriend. Nene, did he talk at all about, that was great, Janet Jackson, since you mentioned an no. ex. He did not talk about Janet Jackson. Are you kidding me? I could barely get Jermaine to talk at all. If I hadn't brought up Kim, I think we probably would just stare at each other all day. Janet or no Janet, my interview piece with Jermaine came out great. She wanted to be on Tardy for the party, and she's like 40-somethings. So why she talks so stupid? I'm gonna have to call her and ask her if she just thinks 32 is just too old to have a hit song. I didn't think that was that negative. Why are you talking about it?